Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wild Wednesday, where we share words of wisdom. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kalia Patton. Now, I'm praying that your Wednesday is going fantastically well, super duper well. Hope that your family is great, awesome, awesome, amazing. And we're going to just keep, keep it going. Uh, we're going to go on into our topic. And I'm going to tell you right off, this is not the topic that I created or invented. A lot of times we listen to people and we catch revelations of a word or something that they may have said. But uh, our bishop, uh, Bishop J. Drew Shear, um, he's our bishop of the Church of God in Christ, uh, which I'm affiliated with. He came, um, well, last week they spoke at the Women's Convention, and he was the speaker for the last night. Well, anyway, this is the title of his message. The title of his message is Quit Trying to Die. And I just thought, oh, wow. I'm going to have to piggyback off of you, Bishop. I'm just going to have to because it resonated with me uh, when I listened to the word that God had given him. And it is so true. You know, it is so true. People are so busy trying to die. They're allowing their dreams to die, their visions to die. And, you know, they, they want to push themselves off into a corner and be insignificant. You know, and, and they don't want to be at the forefront. They don't want to be recognized. A lot, and a lot of times it could be because they've been traumatized. They've gone through some, some, some deep hurts or, or, you know, maybe rejection could have been something that they have gone through. And instead of them trying to revive or trying to live out whatever their potential is, whatever God has placed on the inside of them, they, they allow it to die. They allow it to die. And I'm wanting to encourage you today. I want you to live. I want your dreams to live. I want your creativeness your ability to do whatever it is that you do, I want you to live. I want you to live today. Quit trying to die. It takes effort to try to do things that are totally against the grain, totally against what you were predestined to do, what you were predestined to achieve. It is, it is it's, you know what? Some people, for the life of me, I don't know, they are so creative. They are so anointed. They are so blessed that one word that someone may have said, one attitude that may have been wrong, one rejection, far too many, because they, they, it, it just took one. Was the thing that deterred them from focusing on what it was that was inside of them. They didn't give it time to grow. They didn't give it time to, to develop. They didn't give it time to flourish because they killed it. They didn't want it to live. They stopped feeding that thing. They stopped feeding their passions. They stopped feeding their desires. They stopped feeding those gifts that were locked on the inside of them. They stopped feeding them. And anytime you stop feeding something that was intended to live, it will die. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. You know what you're doing. You're not feeding that thing. That's fueling you. You're not giving yourself the proper fuel so that you can drive that car. So that you can go that extra mile. So that you can achieve your goal. You stop feeding that thing. You have malnutritioned your gifts. You have malnutritioned your ability. You have not malnutritioned your dream, your vision. You have not 
giving it what it needed to sustain itself. See, we got to get to the place where whatever God has put in you, you don't let it die. You don't let it die. Why? Because God still has his hands on you. He didn't let you die. So whatever it is he put in you, you don't let that thing die. You don't let that thing die. Matter of fact, you speak to it and command it to live. Command that thing to live. What is it? What is that thing? All of us know that thing. All of us know what it is that we've allowed to die in our hands, to, that we've allowed to die in our heart, that we've allowed to die in our minds, that we need to cultivate, that we need to nourish, that we need to water, that we, we need to enable it to grow. How? Providing the sunlight, providing the water, providing the nutrients, providing the, the type of environment that will cultivate the growth. You can't die now. You know why? Because you're too busy living. You are too busy living, so you cannot die now. Whatever that thing is, and you know God gave it to you, it can't die. You can't afford to let it die. Why? Because right now, at this present moment, you're living. You're still here. By the grace of God, through all the things that you've gone through, you're still here. So that dream, that vision, those gifts, those abilities, you can't let them die. You can't let them die. So stop it. Quit. Quit trying to die. You have too much potential. You have too much gifting. You have too much ability to let that thing die. You can't die. You can't die. You can't let that thing die. Because it wasn't in God's plan for it to die. God said he has a plan for us. His plan is perfect. He knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. Yes, yes. He formed and shaped us in our, in, in our mother's womb. He said he knew us. He was well acquainted with our ways. He was well acquainted with us. <laughs> yes, he knew us before we were formed, before we became. He knew. He knew what you would become. You didn't know. Matter of fact, you're still discovering. You're still discovering what God has. You, you had not even tapped. You had not even scratched the surface of everything that God has within you. You're powerful. You don't even know it. You, you can't even recognize it. Because he said, he put those treasures in earthen vessels. We, we, we are earthen vessels. He, he put these treasures in us. Guess what? All the times we've read, all, all the things we've read and stories we've heard, we know that when we, when we hear the word treasure, that means you got to go searching for treasure. <laughs> you got to go dig for treasure, okay? Because if treasure is hidden, you got to go find it. You got to go discover it, okay? So God placed within us these, vest, these giftings, these treasures <laughs> that we have to what? Tap into to discover, to dig around, to dig up. <laughs> there, they're there. And it's so amazing how years later you find out, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I didn't know I had that was in me. Oh, I didn't know. And, and the way we find out a lot of times, people will say things. <laughs> That will spark a fire in you. Oh, you good at this. Oh, you know how to put these things together. You know how to do this. You know how to do that. Oh, your ability is just impeccable. 
God put them in your in your in your pathway for a reason. Sometimes these people don't even they don't stay long because they're seasonal. And they'll begin to give you glimpses of what your treasures are. <laughs> your abilities are. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Sometimes, like I said, you don't know what's in you. <laughs> until you begin to open up your mouth. It's until you begin to start using your hands. Then people, God will send people in your pathway to further confirm to you your identity. They will, they will tell you exactly who you are and what's on the inside of you. You weren't paying much attention, but God will just tap somebody on the shoulder or he, he'll just reveal something to somebody on the street, somebody that you randomly meet. I, 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 prime example. And this this is this is amazing. I, I came when I when I came out of COVID, you know, I went through a horrible experience uh, back in January. And um and so when I went back to work, this this man that was on my job that I was been I had been ministering to uh just just spoke to me. And I was I you know, I I do my job. I'm just zeroed in focused. He told me, he said, you sound like somebody in charge. You sound like a sergeant. And I said, run that by me again. You sound like a sergeant. And I remember my husband, when I was going through, um, during the last week of, of COVID, the time that I was going through, my husband mentioned the same thing about sergeant but matter of fact no he said lieutenant and so i'm sitting here like okay these are military terms what 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 is going on what what are they saying so i'm making the connection and i'm like okay people who are in the military they serve our country and they go to war so my so so apparently what was was connecting with me is that you are someone who's been in a war. You're a warrior. You have rank. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's like these things is coming together. But, but I'm focusing on the fact that I just came out of something I didn't want to go through. It was horrible and I did not like it. But I had to fight through it. Okay. And so me coming out, I'm hearing words like sergeant and lieutenant. And I'm like, okay, it's, it's, it's above my pay grade because I, you know, but I'm thinking about this from a spiritual aspect. You just went through some. So you went through and came out. You a warrior. And you got some rank. If you, if you went through this and came out, you got rank. The devil upset with you now. Cause see, he thought he thought he was gonna take you over, under, and through, and he he thought he was gonna snuff you out of here. You you see what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes people will see things <laughs> that you didn't even see in yourself, and they will lay they will help you to put the pieces together to connect this stuff because it wasn't intended for you to die. When you were put in that situation, it wasn't intended for you to die. It was intended for you to live. It was intended for you to endure. It was intended for you to be made. See, you're, you're only a soldier when you made a soldier. See what I'm saying? You can put on all the gear. <laughs> you, can get, you can get ready. And you, you put the, you know, have your weaponry and everything. But until you go through some, you're not a soldier yet. <laughs> go through a war and come out. You're a soldier. <laughs> go through battle and come out. You're a soldier. See what I'm saying? You see when people say serve on the military, they didn't, these people, they didn't just put on clothes, okay? 
they actually went out into the trenches. And see, I've always said that. I said, I love going in the trenches. I don't, I don't even remember. I, don't, I didn't realize what I was talking about. But I like to get down where the people are. I like to fight with the people. You see what I'm saying? I don't like sitting up high. I like being out there with my people. I like to support my people. I say, look, we coming out of this. You, you see what I'm saying? That's my mentality. We coming out of this. And so you, 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 got to, you got to know who you are. You got to know your identity in this, in this walk. Because the enemy will tell you who you're not. Don't invest in his thoughts. Don't invest in his words. Don't invest in what he's trying to do to your family, your children, you, yourself. Don't allow him to speak negative thoughts in your mind. Don't allow him to tell you that you're going to die. You are not going to die. So quit trying to die. The word says you will not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. So I speak to you now and I prophesy to you and I'm saying to you, live. Live now. Live. You don't have you don't have a choice. Live. The enemy comes but to kill, steal, and to destroy. But God came that you may have life and that more abundantly. Abundant life. I prophesy to you. Live. 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 Life is in you. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing. There's still life there. You watching me across the screen, you're still living. Keep living. Quit trying to die. It's not time for you to die. It's time for you to live. <laughs> it's time for you to live. So, my brother, my sister, Keep living. Keep living. You have much to live for. There is much that God has invested in you. You may not have tapped into all of it, but there's much that he has invested in you. And he wants a return on his investment. It just wasn't so by happenstance that, you know, you're here. No, no, no. He took time. He worked some things out. To bring you into the equation. <laughs> he, he took some time with you. Okay. He did a, a wondrous work. A mighty work. A great work. When he created you. So it's your time. To live. And I beseech you today. To live. Don't let nobody discourage you. It's time for you to live. It's time for you to live. It's time for you to breathe on that thing that you allowed to die in your life. Live. Live, my sister. Live, my brother. Live. This is our Wild Wednesday for today. Quit trying to die. And let's live today. Let's live each and every day from this day forward. Live. Live. All right, you all. I'll see you on next go round for the next Wow Wednesday. All right. I love you. Bye-bye.